I'm doing a PhD here in Johnstown Castle with John Finn and I'm working on multi-species swords and so the idea came out by mixing the grasses that we we know well in the back you can see there we know well for having good growth and especially in the early spring then we have some clover that we know to have good nitrogen fixation and that's very efficient to cut down the nitrogen fertilizer amounts and having a good summer growth and we even have some herbs so herbs like plantain and chicory have very deep rooting systems they are very resistant to drought and they even bring some minerals to the cows and the idea was to mix these three types and see how they perform together when they are mixed together they perform very well even better than any monoculture even better than ryegrass with high nitrogen inputs so when we put them together with lower nitrogen fertilizer we reach higher yield higher stability over the, over the year and especially if there is a drought, uh, drought event like we had in 2018 or in the, even in this spring, then they maintain a good growth normally in research plots. The question is that now we have data baseline, how does it perform in a real system so when it's grazed by cows or sheep? And that's a question Aidan is answering now on the farm. So as a result of John Finn and Geelan's plot trials in 2019, we established uh, two farmlets, seven hectares each. Uh, stocked at 2.7 livestock units per hectare. On one farmlet we have the multi-species swords which were fully reseeded over the course of last year with a six mix variety of perennial ryegrass, timothy, white clover, red clover, two herbs, chicory and plantain. On the other is a perennial ryegrass white clover mix. The cows were randomised each treatment as the calf down in 2020 and were aiming to answer five or six key production issues. So firstly would the cows eat it and so far the cows are content on the swords, the clean out has been good uh, they do tend to preferentially graze the clover and plantain first, leaving the chicory to last. Secondly then, will the animals perform on it? Uh, performance so far has been good. Four months into lactation and we don't see any real difference between the two systems. Both groups are performing well with over two kilos of milk solids per cow per day. Thirdly, will we grow enough grass to, to match our stocking rate? The multi-species is close to a tonne of dry matter behind at this stage of the year. But we'd hope that the multi-species will regain much of that um, when the clover kicks in, in towards the second half of the year. Fourthly, can we make silage from these swords and how will it feed out? It's important to get a good wilt as multi-species are generally three to four pints lower in dry matter than the grass clover swords. But we'll know in the winter how it feeds out, time will tell. Fifthly, how persistent are the multi-species swords under grazing conditions? So we hope to run this over a number of years and we'll be monitoring the changes to pan botanical composition as this goes ahead. So finally, I suppose a particular concern of mine would be around the establishment and weed infestation or potential weed infestation. Uh, so far, that doesn't appear to have been a problem. We had three um, sowing dates in 2019 and in general, the swards seem to be pretty clean of weeds with the uh, multi-species swards appearing to dominate over the, the volunteer weeds coming in. Music